welcome back so we are successfully done with the profile company dot dart and you guys already know about that so what I'll do I'll simply close their dot file profile company dot dart close that now right from this video we will start working right on the search job as you guys can see that dot file okay open that that one okay so the screen and in here search job dot dot open that so the first thing that we will do right in this screen just to remove that app bar okay I mean just the text right in this app bar as you guys can see the title and also we will remove that center title first let me just open that screen so what I'll do I'll simply go towards the search job screen now we are on the job screen as you guys can see now in here as you guys can see that search icon just click upon that and it will take you right to this screen okay search job screen click in here and there we go as you guys can see the search job screen as I told you already that app bar tax we will first remove that okay right in this app bar so what I'll do I'll simply just remove that okay dull this and now we are locked with the app bar as you guys can see right in here so if you guys didn't how to load the app first do that I have already how to load the app so I will just simply press the control s and you guys will notice that search job screen will be gone because we just removed that right from this app bar okay now I'll just simply press the control s and boom there we go okay now the text of app bar has been gone already now right to the screen I'll just add the arrow back icon so that we can go back to the job screen okay it's gonna be the leading icon button so what I'll do below this container as you guys can see down in here we will have leading in here as I told you already and now I'm gonna have the icon button in there it is going to take the on press event now I'll just leave this empty we will work on that just in a while so down in here now we will add the icon and we will go with the icons in here O and dot now as I tell you we will go with the arrow back icon as you guys can see the suggestion right in here you can choose whatever you want right in here but I'll go with this one okay just the arrow back now in here add the const modifier to this icon so that yellow line will be gone now just press the control s and you guys will notice that arrow back icon button there we go okay as you guys can see on the left side right in the app bar now let's work on this on press even so whenever the user will be right on the screen and they can simply click upon that so it will tag them right to the job screen as I told you already for now the on press event is just totally empty and you guys can see that if you guys click in here it will not work okay because the on press event is empty now jump in this and we will set the navigator okay just to push the user right to the job screen as you guys know already so in here navigator push replacement it is going to take the contacts now we will provide the route the route going to be material page route and in here contacts provide that now we will simply just get the user right to the job screen so in here job screen as you guys can see okay the suggestion and right at end semicolon so now as you guys can see the navigator we just set that successfully okay right in this on press event so whenever now the user will click on that icon button it will just navigate the user as you guys can see right to the job screen now what I'll do I'll just simply press the control s 
okay reloading there we go now come here and click on this icon button it will just take you right to the job screen okay click upon that there we go it's working totally fine now we are on the job screen now we will go back towards the search job screen so click on this search icon on the right side right in the app bar of a job screen click upon that so here we are back again now what we will do we will simply just create some methods okay for the search field okay right in this search job screen so first as you guys know already we will create some methods so above the widget build as you guys can see widget build above in here now we will create some methods so the first one that we will create it's gonna be simply for building the search field okay and in here we will say widget the return type will be widget so that's why in here we have that widget okay now we're gonna make that method private so in here underscore now we will give the name build search field and parenthesis in here and then curly braces tag this down now we will return widget tax field okay as you guys can see right in here right at end semicolon now let's working right in this widget tax field the first thing that it's going to take is going to be the controller now we will simply go and implement the tax editing controller it's going to be simply for the search inquiry so above this method in here let's create one so we will say tax editing controller and we're gonna make that private so search I told you already it's gonna be for searching query so in here search and then just write the query and let's also add the controller with it now we will just assign the tax editing controller and write it and semicolon now we will just remove that yellow line so what I'll do right at front I'll just add the final key okay there we go as you guys can see we are done with the controller now let's copy that from here or also you can manually write in here right in the tax field widget right with this controller okay let's provide that there we go now it's gonna take the autocorrect and we will set that to true so it's gonna autocorrect the search field for us so when our user will be tapping something in there now let's move further we will do some decoration for that so in here input decoration parenthesis take this down first we will provide the hint tax and the hint tax is gonna be we will say search for jobs that is gonna be the tax that we will show right in the tax field okay write it in comma and let's provide the border now so in here we will say border and then we will say input border dot none comma write it in as you guys can see now let's provide the hint style as usual text style in here comma and now right in there first we will provide the color so we'll go with the colors white dot white okay now scroll down and below this input decoration you will do some style so in here style and as usual in their textile let's provide the color for that so we will copy that from here and here past it and also we will just provide the font size so it's going to be 16 point that is fine we are done with the build search field method so we will provide the const modifier so the line will be gone there we go also to this textile and that is fine so that method is going to be right in the title 
just for building resource field okay as I told you already now below this what I'll do we will create another method it's gonna be simply for building actions so right in this method we're gonna have simply the icon button it's gonna be for clearing the search field you will have that icon clear so whenever the user will be click upon that icon it's gonna simply clear the search query okay so now let's work upon that method above the widget build okay right in here so we're gonna say list and now in here we will provide the widget so right in here widget because the return type will be widget okay now we're gonna make that method private so in here underscore and gonna name this other build actions in here parenthesis and curly braces tag this down now you simply return in here right widget and as you guys know already the return tag will be widget okay in here semicolon and tag this down so in here you will have that widget icon button it is gonna take the on press event and in here icon as you guys can see for now we will remove that and we will just add it in a while in here comma take this down now let's provide the icon in here icon now we will have simply that clear icon for searching the search query as you guys know already about that so in here let us go with the clear one okay I'll go with the first one and let's take this down now it's going to take the on press event for now we will leave this empty and later on we will create a method it's going to be simply for clearing the search query okay for now right in this build action as I told you already we will have that icon button and there we go with the icon clear okay and simply whenever the user will click upon that icon button it will clear the search query so whenever as you guys know already as I told you whenever the user will click okay so it's gonna take the click even and the click events gonna be the on press event okay so whenever the user will press or click upon that icon it is gonna clear the search query but the click event or let's say the on press event okay right in here it's empty okay so what I'll do we will create another method simply it will clear the search query okay and we will call upon writing this on press event okay in this click event so then the user will be come right at this icon button and click upon that or let's say press on that it will just clear the search query so let's go now and implement the method for clearing the search query so in here we will say void and gonna make this private so in here underscore gonna name this as a clear search query in here parenthesis and then call the brushes take this down in there since it's a startful widget let me just show you okay startful widget so right in this method again we will have a set set okay guys Edit and semicolon now take this down now right in there we're gonna call upon the search query controller okay dot clear so what you will do the query gonna be right inside that search query controller okay whenever the user will be right in the search field and he or she gonna simply search for some job so they will enter some tags and that tags that query it's gonna be right inside that search query controller okay so that's why in here we call upon that and right with this we say dot clear it's gonna simply clear the search query okay controller so whenever it will clear the search query controller also we will update it okay 
update the search query so right for updating the search query we're gonna have another method okay for the updating search query so above the widget build in here let's have another method and we will say white gonna name this as a update search query and here parenthesis and also we're going to pass the parameter and we're going to type that so in here we will say string it's going to be string type let's have the name in here so in here we will say new query okay we will pause that and in here curly braces take this down now right in there let's have this stat as you guys know already it's a start for widget so in there we will just assign the new query so in here new query there we go the suggestion and in here semicolon now we will assign that right to the search query okay so for that we're gonna need another string type search query so let's have that and below this text editing controller let's have that in here I'm gonna name this as a search query now we will just assign in here we'll have that string and we will say text search query and here is semicolon we will just change this to small q that is fine so let's now use that we will just now assign that right to the variable that we just created so as you guys can see right in here we just assign that new query okay right to this search query now what we will do we will just simply print the search query okay in which we have just the new query as you guys can see right in here new query we just assign that right in the search query and we just print that so it's gonna simply update the search query okay so that's why we implement that method so now what I'll do I'll simply call upon that method right in the clear search query okay right in the system so let's call upon that it will just update the search query so right in here we will not pass the new query okay we will just leave this as an empty string because we just want to update the search query right in here right in this method clear search query okay we can just update the search query and we don't need the new query okay so we are done with that method clear search query and also with the update search query now the next thing what I'll do we will go back right to this method build action as you guys can see that I can clear first add the const modifier and we just left that on press event empty as I told you already whenever the user will be right on this icon button and press on that clear icon or let's say click upon that it is gonna clear the search query so it's gonna take that on press even in here what I'll do now I'll call upon the search query clear search query okay so it's gonna simply clear the search query whenever the user will click upon that or press on that clear icon button and there we go with on press event and we just call upon that method okay just for clearing the search query as I explain this in detail I hope you can get the idea now